don't even start. Don't even start because you want to keep going to the bookstore, right? You want to keep buying all of these brand new, really cute, fancy, beautiful books, right? Well, ma'am, where are we supposed to put all these books? My room is looking absolutely insane. I already told you before in our last bookstore vlog, we're going to have to redo the room and we're going to have to buy a bookshelf. So the time has come. The time has come. We got to clean up my room and build this new TBR shelf. Before we get started, I would love to thank today's sponsor, which is Babbel. Now, if you're not new here, you know how important I think learning new languages are. I've been learning Japanese for the past year, and I just started adding Spanish to my repertoire, which is perfect because Babbel has a wonderful Spanish program, and I've been using it for the past few weeks, and it's really, really cool. I think learning a new language is so important because it allows you to connect with people that you never would have been able to connect with, and I think it just makes new experiences and traveling that much better when you're able to connect connect with locals. And with fall coming in full swing, I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to be able to work on your new goals for next year as well. So if you're thinking about learning a new language or you've always thought about learning a new language, this is the time to do so, especially with this app. The lessons are really cohesive and I feel like they're really great at breaking down the grammar especially because grammar is always something that I struggle with, but I love this app because unlike other apps out there, it breaks down the grammar as you're learning new vocabulary. So you're learning both things at once and it's just perfect. Now I personally chose Spanish out of their list of languages to learn because one of my best friends, she's a native Spanish speaker. And fun fact, we went to Cuba uh, a few years ago together, like with our school, and she had to translate everything for me. It was so hard on her and I felt really bad because like she couldn't enjoy the new atmosphere. She couldn't enjoy like her vacation because she was constantly like trying to keep me in the loop because she was able to speak with the natives and connect with them unlike I was able to. To, and she didn't want me to feel like excluded and stuff so she was constantly being my translator and I know that was really tiring on her and ever since then I wanted to learn Spanish so I'm no longer putting it on the back burner I've been using Babbel to continue to grow and improve in my skills and I can't wait to like show her so that she knows that when we travel in the future she does not have to waste her time being my translator now I know there are a ton of language learning apps out there but Babbel really stands out because they are scientifically proven to help you start speaking a new language within three weeks Weeks, which is insane like it's so efficient it's so proactive it's a really great tool and not only that the lessons are designed by real language teachers so you know that you're getting the information that you absolutely need to be able to start speaking also there is a 20-day money-back guarantee and you get two free live lessons with your subscription so there's nothing to hate here and no matter why you're learning they have different lessons for different topics so it can be business relationships friends family anything that you want and there's an option for a lifetime subscription so if you don't just want to try it for a few months, you can also have it for the rest of your life too. And even though all of those things are really great, I think my favorite part of this experience is using the app. The app is so user friendly. It always sends me notifications when I need to study again. And I actually just got one, so I want to review with you. It says time for a quick check-in here. I can do flashcards or I can do speaking. Let's do some speaking. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Hasta pronto. Hasta pronto. Now we getting four out of four right, yeah. <laughs> and if you want to start speaking a new language in three weeks with Babbel, just use my code in the description box. You'll get 60% off your subscription. 60%. Like, don't let that go to waste. Future you and your New Year's resolutions and your fall resolutions are going to thank you. So just go for it. And without further ado, thank you again, Babbel, for sponsoring this portion of the video. Let's get back to the books. <sighs> I am not looking forward to this, like at all. My room, there's so much potential, okay? There's a lot of potential, but the potential is becoming a little overwhelming because I don't know what I want to do. I did put up a bookshelf for us already, so we don't have to do that. But we are putting up that TBR cart together, ma'am. So roll up them sleeves. Let's go. Okay, so the game plan is to put the cart together first before we even touch the books because I don't really know what I'm doing with these books. So right now, this whole bookshelf is filled to the brim, like to the absolute brim, to the point where I had to start putting books horizontally instead of vertically. And I thought that was going to look cute at first, and it does for certain things, like for series it looks really good, like the Twilight series. But for other things, it just looks, uh, you know, it takes away from the rainbow effect. So I'm really hoping that this TBR cart will help. And this is the one that I got. Hold on. How freaking cute is this? I got this from 
the container store literally yesterday. I just, I had the inspiration for it and I was like, let's just go for it. So I have this one. I didn't get it in white because I feel like everyone does it in white. And just so you know, I'm thinking about redoing the room, guys. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, I know. I thought it was a good idea too. Because right now it's pink and it's like this pink and gold theme, which is nice. But I had this theme for most of my years in college and I feel like I'm kind of out of that now. I'm kind of in my cozy girl era and I'm kind of growing and evolving. And I think green is more my vibe now. So I want to do like green and earth tones and like plants and stuff. So I'm really thinking about redoing my room and that vibe. So I kind of committed with this. <laughs> But it's also not too like jarring to where it doesn't match my current setup, but it is like very telling of what's to come. We're gonna have a green room soon, guys. All right, let's get to it. I've been building stuff all week, by the way. Let me get some scissors. Because my niece, she's going to high school this year, and to surprise her for her 14th birthday, I redid her room, like a complete HGTV room makeover. Y'all, when I tell you, I snapped, snapped. You won't even believe it. Oh, you think I'm lying? You think I'm lying? Okay, cool. Let me show you, come on. Never believe me. You're literally gonna freak out. You're not ready, I'm telling you. Oh, hold on, let me turn on the lights. You need the full effect. Okay, are you ready? This is what I did. Put clouds on the ceiling. There's a little mirror. She has this light here, a loft bed, this little dresser, has all her pictures of her friends and family. She loves that new light, by the way. And then she also has this set up with this little couch at the bottom here. We're gonna hide those wires over there, don't worry. This is my favorite part, hold on. I gave her a little bookshelf and it has a mushroom light. How freaking cute is this? She literally cried, she was so happy. And this is her bed. So, you can't tell me I'm not the best sister ever. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, I snapped. So, because of that, I'm kind of getting rid of all the pink stuff in my room and putting everything in her room. I've always loved interior design. When I was younger, I was such a weird kid. All I loved to do was watch all the wedding shows, like Bridezilla, these gypsy wedding things. It was so weird. It was like on Wii TV or something. And then also HGTV. I love seeing people like transform a really ugly room and turning it into something really magical. And ever since then, I feel like I've been really creative. I also love doing puzzles and crocheting and reading as a kid. I was just a literal grandma when I was a child. It was so weird. And I think it's funny how we stray from who we were as a child and then we kind of like laugh around again. And I'm literally the same person as I was when I was in elementary school now, all over again. I think it's nice to like get off the screen and be in the present moment. And I feel like crocheting and reading really does that for me. All right. I kind of feel like this is gonna be too hard. I literally built every piece of furniture in my sister's room. So I'm still very much in my Bob the Builder mode. So I think we got this. This has no words. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't necessarily hate that, but I could use, Alisa, you're doing good, or connect that here. I know this looks weird, but like, still do it. You got this type of thing. But we don't have that. That's okay. Um. Mm, yeah, yeah. Also, while I was doing her room, <laughs> tell me why I binge watched every single Twilight movie. I have a VPN service, so I connected to Japan, and they have all the Twilight series movies. So I watched every single one while I was developing her room, and I do not regret it. That series is still such a big part of who I am. I don't know why. I really don't. I love the love story. I love the idea of the love story. And it just reminds me of like a really happy time too. I think my favorite Twilight movie is Eclipse. Just because I love seeing her get close to Jacob and like almost move on. Like she was so close to moving on from Edward. And don't get me wrong, like obviously I love Edward too, but uh, Jacob was so sweet. 
Okay, and yes, maybe his abs made him sweeter in my opinion, but listen, I've been in love with him since Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Yeah. So you can't be too surprised that I was a little biased for Jacob. Do you guys remember Shark Boy and Lava Girl or am I aging myself now? <laughs> I remember seeing that movie in theaters and I think I saw it in like 3D, but it's not the 3D of today. It's the 3D where you had the one red lens and the one blue lens. <laughs> good times, good times. Rewatching the movies also really made me want to reread the books. <laughs> so not to spoil anything, but we will be having a Twilight Marathon coming soon. Oh my god, guys, this looks so freaking good. Just call me Kalila the Builder, yeah. <laughs> Do you need anything built in your house? Let me know. I charge in subscriptions. All you have to do is like and subscribe, and I'll be there to build your desk. As long as you got the snacks and the books. I'll be there. Wow, this color is so pretty too. It's a muted green. It's almost like a matcha green, but kind of like more dull. And I don't mind that. I like that it's kind of muted. But yeah, we're having a Twilight Marathon. Surprise, not surprise. We're watching all the movies and we're gonna read all the books. <laughs> and we're going all out, because this is my childhood here. Plus, I think I remember reading the books in fall, like when I was younger. So it's gonna bring all the feels, all the nostalgia. Y'all, tell me this does not look so good. See, and it wasn't even that painful. And you were complaining all this time about having to clean up and stuff. And it wasn't even that bad, so far. I like building things, this is fun. So my idea is on the top, we're gonna put our little crochet corner at the top because you know, we're in our grandma era. So we're gonna start crocheting again. I feel like that's gonna be so fun to do in the vlogs. I'm very excited about that. So we're gonna put our crochet stuff. So our yarn, our little hooks and stuff. And then I also wanna plant and like, maybe one of those like candles or one of those scented stick things, you know what I'm talking about? And then we'll put this in the little corner in my room here. I think it's gonna look really good. I feel like I always do a big project right before fall or something really good happens right before fall for me. I don't know, fall is my favorite season. I think it's the outfits and the crisp air. It makes me feel like there's new chances, new possibilities with the seasons changing. With spring to summer, you can't really tell the difference nowadays. Thank you, global warming. <laughs> I think what we're gonna do, because we're coming up to fall, we're gonna put all the thrillers I wanna read this fall and this winter here. <gasps> The only thing better than fall is Christmas time. It's the winter, the snow. Okay, not necessarily the fashion. I know what I just said, okay? You don't have to throw it in my face. But I mean like the vibes, the energy. Everyone's so happy and cheery. And it has always been like my favorite time of the year. So I think when we fill this up with the Christmas books, I'm gonna be, y'all, what if I make sweaters and stuff? And the sweaters that I make are gonna be on the cart with my Christmas books. Um, that's all I've ever wanted in my life. I'm feeling the vibes already. I'm already so excited. Guys, what if I, guys, what if I make a sweater around Christmas time and I give away the sweater to a subscriber? What if I do that? Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. I think that's gonna make my life. I gotta get good enough to make a sweater by then. But I think it's gonna be really fun. It's crazy how you can lose a skill though, because when I was younger, I used to make all my scarves, all my hats, and now I don't even remember how to crochet. But I'm restarting today, actually. I'm trying to get my sister into crocheting too. She's really excited for it. She's way more excited about this than trying to read, so I'll take what I can get at this point. <laughs> so after this video, actually, we're gonna try to learn how to crochet together, and I'm very, very excited about that. I just want her to have a hobby, you know, something that she enjoys doing besides being on her phone or her iPad. And I think that this can be it. I also think it's kind of like the foot in the door psychology for this because if I get her into crocheting, that takes time, you know? So she'll slowly start to develop more of an attention span and then I can slip in a book here and there. I'm not giving up on the reading thing. She's gonna like reading, whether she likes it or not. If you're watching this, I love you. Guys, we're on the last wheel. We're all good, we're all good, Shaudi. You know what I also really want in here? I feel like I need more plants, but not just fake plants, because even though I love this little guy over here, he is fake. I kind of want something that's gonna purify the air because I have such a small room and I don't open my window enough. Guys, look at how cute this is. Wow. 
Wow, it looks even better than I imagined. That was so easy. I'm very happy. I think it took us 10 minutes max. All right, before we pick, let me just give you a rundown of our current situation. So all my books kind of look like this now. It looks not that cute, right? Also, right when you walk into my room, I got this new bookshelf here that doesn't have any books yet. So as you can see, there's a lot of potential. Let's just go and pick all of our books first, and then we'll try to organize the madness. All right, down here, ooh, we have The Silent Patient. I've heard such great things. I do want to read that. First book we're adding to our little TBR cart. <laughs> Very excited. Ooh, The Candy House. This is the book that I mentioned before that I said was kind of like Black Mirror, where you download your consciousness into this like computer chip, I believe, and then other people can access your subconscious. Is that like scary enough though for fall? Is it thriller-y enough, you know? I don't know, this is a maybe. Ooh, we gotta do Rebecca. This is the book that my favorite bookstore clerk said to read because she said it's just like Verity by Colleen Hoover, but it's like the real deal. It's the first book, so. It's like what Colleen Hoover copied for Verity. So we have to read this. And right next to it was Agatha Christie's and then there were none. This is a classic, we have to add this. It would be criminal if we didn't read an Agatha Christie this fall. We are official book girlies now. Guys, we kind of really are official book girlies now. Like, your girl has a TBR cart. Your girl has a Kindle. I'm about to start crocheting again. Like, who am I? I'm so happy with this transformation. Like, it literally took me a year to find my inner old lady and now she's thriving. <laughs> Let's have a moment of silence for Grandma Kalila. Yeah, I like this era. I like this era. I just finished Remarkably Bright Creatures. I read it on my Kindle. And it was good, it was good. I rated it four stars. I felt like it was very slow in the beginning and at first it was like a three star for me because I didn't like one of the main characters, but then his character development really helped me like the book again. And then it turned out to be a four star read. We already read The Paris Apartment, but that would have been in here. I can't remember what this one's about. The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Is this a thriller? At a masquerade ball thrown by her parents, at their English country house, Evelyn Hardcastle will die. All right, kind of sounds like it is. <laughs> I don't like to read too much into my books first, but I think it's safe to say that's a thriller. <laughs> Ooh, The Woman in the Window. I think they made a Netflix movie about this, right? Anna Fox lives alone, a recluse in New York City home, unable to venture outside. She spends her days drinking wine, maybe too much, same, watching old movies, recalling happier times, and spying on her neighbors. Then the Russells move into the house across the way, a father, a mother, then their teenage son, the perfect family. But when Anna, gazing out her window one night, sees something she shouldn't, her world begins to crumble, and its shocking secrets are laid bare. Was it real? Was it imagined? Who is in danger? Who is in control? In this diabolically gripping thriller, no one and nothing is what it seems. Yeah, we have to add that. We've got a pretty good list so far, guys. Whoa, do you think we can get through all of this by the end of the year or before Christmas books? Because I'm not touching another thriller. Once it hits Christmas time, it will be all Christmas romances. I don't care, I don't care. <laughs> that is my favorite time, that is my time to thrive. So we gotta get through all of these books before Thanksgiving. <laughs> Next up on this whole row is the Twilight series. Um, yeah, without a doubt, y'all. Oh my God, I haven't read this since I was a kid. I'm so freaking excited. I got these for Christmas last year too, because the copies that I had when I was younger were actually my cousins and I stole them from her and then she got them back. So <laughs> I officially have my own copy. Guys, hold on, let me pull it up for you. Oh, Jesus. Hurry up, look, real fast. Look how cute it is, okay. I could have just lowered the camera instead of picking up the entire cart. Um, please don't unsubscribe. I'm so sorry. So, we are done with the TBR cart. I will get more decorations and things to put up here, especially when I start putting the yarn and stuff. It's gonna look really good. And then I'm gonna get a plant here. I'm gonna have to give you guys an update. All right, now to the actual bookshelf. Uh, 
I don't know. Are we gonna keep the rainbow theme? We've had that for a while. I do love it though. All right, you convinced me. You twist my arm. We're gonna keep the rainbow theme. All right, we're just gonna shuffle everything down, I think. You know what's crazy? I still haven't started back on The Court of Thorns and Roses. I only read the first book. I feel like I'm late, because everyone's already read it, they've already talked about it, and they've moved on. Oh, that looks good, guys. What do you think? That looks good. We need more yellow books. We're missing yellow and green and pink. We need more of those. I don't think that looks too bad. I can live with this. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep this other bookshelf the way that it is now because I have like my perfume, my sunscreen and stuff on here. And we've already freed up so much space on here. So I think I'm gonna leave it as it is and we'll just have to fill it up with some more books in the fall, yeah. <laughs> So I'm very happy. I think it came out really good. High five. Forehead kisses for everyone. I'm so proud of you. I think you did a solid job, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very excited for the fall. We have some fire reads. I'm like itching to read. And I just finished my last book. Should I pick one up already? No, you know what I should do? Sorry. There was one more romance that I wanted to read before the end of the year. Yes, I got it. It was Every Summer After. I'm gonna read every summer after, and then we're gonna get to all our fun, creepy, crawly fall books. I'm very excited. We did so good today. If you enjoyed the chaos, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Boo.